Hi, my name is Anaira from Criticolos.com. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk about the movie. First of all, I want to say congratulations. I saw it and it was really good. Thank you very much. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Well, my first question is for Dylan. Um, I saw that you were producing the movie and also acting on it. So I want to ask, what were the challenges of wearing those two hats? And what are some things you learned from that process? Um, yeah, this is really my first time executive producing. And um, part of it was from necessity from the jump, because I think we wanted to get this thing rolling in a way. And uh, Luke, Justin, and I were all kind of first timers doing what we were planning on doing there. Um, <clears throat> but um, I was also very careful to separate the producer hat from the actor hat while mm -hmm. on set. Most of my production side was uh, in the post and the pre-production. Um, so for me, I, I think that there wasn't much difficulty, uh, although I will say I'm very used to as an actor uh, having a very particular role mm -hmm. in the project and then it being done. And then I just appear yeah. afterwards for the finished product. So this has actually been really nice being all throughout the production cycle and kind of checking in and making sure things are aligned. And, and so that's been very fun. I couldn't, I couldn't have done it on a better project with so many people that I love very dearly. Yeah. Well, there is an open question for either of you two, because I'm really curious because the movie is a modern story, but since it's a duel, there's some vintage props in set. So do you guys um, wanted to keep something or maybe you kept something? I wish we could have kept our respective uh, pistols, Dale. That would have been amazing. Um, but of course, they were on they were on loan to production, um, and uh, they were not ours to keep. Uh, I don't remember if I did take anything, either, uh, you know, wittingly or unwittingly, if I ended up with anything in my pocket. But I don't think I did. <laughs> all I have are, all I have are the memories, unfortunately. But yeah. they're good enough. Yeah, Dylan, do you want to say something? I kept some of the character art, okay. uh, like the original character art. I did keep, um, there were some drawings of uh, us, like sketches of us in our suits from wardrobe with mm -hmm. some of the bits of the materials. And I kept mine just because I thought it was so cool of a little keep. <laughs> yeah. I do always like to keep one thing, um, though, you know, we were just renting all the historical stuff. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have take any of that home though i wish it would be nice to have a wing pistol yeah. in that yeah kellen so your character has a lot of anger because of the betrayal of his best friend was there any strategy you used to channel your character and getting in your role nothing that i remember in particular i, I mean i i despise dylan in real life just <laughs> so completely <laughs> it was a fairly natural transition i mean the you know all it took was my imagining it happening to me yeah. and having a dear dear friend um choose to uh, shatter the relationship in such a way and you know woody's anger was was uh quick to come to me um but it was just uh the, the script itself uh is it's so it was so perfectly written from the get-go i knew exactly uh where to place this guy and myself um And so more than anything, it was a joy. Yeah. And my last question is if you guys have any story behind the scenes or something happened that happened on set that you want to share. Um, I will say that we uh, we shot this during COVID. Mm -hmm. And uh, one interesting fact is we did this over a month and a half. And I believe we did uh, over... I think 1,500 tests over the course Damn. of that. Yeah, it was a lot of tests. And yeah. we, didn't, we did not have a single COVID case. Uh, what the very strange part was, though, is our medic was at the party afterwards. <laughs> and uh, we were all at the wrap party. We we're still in lockdown, but at the wrap party. And the medic came up to me and gave me that fact. And then he winked at me. <laughs> and I was like, so are you lying? And he was like, nope. <laughs> the main idea. Did we? And he was like, we didn't. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, statistically <laughs> impossible. I was like, okay, but you know, who knows? Uh, we didn't have any on paper and no one was actually sick. So the, I think the gods were looking out for us on the shoot. Yeah, for sure. And the ones that were sick, we killed and buried offset. So yeah. Worry about them. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Best of wishes and congratulations on your new movie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very Bye. much. <laughs>